This video is on the topic of structure of plant and animal cells and will cover the cellular structures found in each cell type. Animals and plants are two of the five kingdoms, along with fungi, protoptists and prokaryotes. They are multicellular organisms, which means that they are made up of many individual cells. Animals are made up of animal cells, while plants are made up of plant cells. Animal cells lack rigid supporting structures, so can often be recognised by their irregular, floppy shape. There are five important structures that you need to know about in animal cells. The cell is surrounded by a layer of membrane, known as the cell membrane. This layer separates the cell from its surroundings and controls which substances can enter or leave the cell. The cytoplasm is the gel-like fluid that makes up most of the cell contents. It contains water and dissolved substances and is the site of many chemical reactions inside the cell. The nucleus is the largest structure inside an animal cell. It contains the genetic material, DNA, and so controls the activities of the cell. The mitochondria are the site of aerobic respiration, releasing energy to fuel other activities within the cell. The ribosomes are involved with the production of proteins and can be found either free in the cytoplasm or bound to a layer of membrane, as shown here. Note that while ribosomes are often shown on diagrams like this, in reality they are too small to be seen using a light microscope. Plant cells usually have a more regular shape than animal cells due to increased structural support. All of the structures found in animal cells are also present in plant cells. They are surrounded by a cell membrane, are filled with cytoplasm, have a nucleus, carry out aerobic respiration in their mitochondria and produce proteins using ribosomes. Plant cells also have some additional structural features that are not present in animal cells. They have an outer layer known as the cell wall. In plant cells, the cell wall is made of a material called cellulose and it provides strength and structural support to the cell, giving plant cells their regular shape. Chloroplasts are large structures which contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. They are the site of photosynthesis, producing sugars for the plant. The permanent vacuole is a compartment within the cell that contains sugars dissolved in water. This solution is known as cell sap. When the vacuole is full of cell sap, it can push outwards against the cytoplasm providing additional structural support to the cell. You need to be able to distinguish between the five structures that occur in both plant and animal cells, so that includes the nucleus, cell membrane, cytoplasm, mitochondria and ribosomes, and the structures that occur only in plant cells, so that's the cell wall, chloroplasts and permanent vacuole. Remember that there are only three structures that occur in plant cells alone. This example question shows some human cheek cells as viewed under a microscope and asks us to name the cell structures labelled X and Y and then to compare these cells with plant cells. Note that you should be prepared to apply your knowledge of cell structure to new scenarios in this way. Such scenarios might include unusual cell types or photographs of actual cells that have been taken using a microscope. In part A here, there are two marks available for identifying the structures labelled X and Y. X indicates the large dark region within the cheek cell. We know that the largest structure inside animal cells is the nucleus, so we can identify X as the nucleus. Y indicates the cell contents contained within the membrane. This gel-like substance is the cytoplasm. In part B, the command word is compare, meaning that we need to consider similarities and or differences between these cheek cells and plant cells. Let's start with similarities. There are five that we could choose from 
but it's only a three-mark question, so we need a maximum of two. Let's say both cell types have a nucleus and both cell types have a cell membrane. The use of the word both here shows that we are including both cell types in our comparison. To make sure that our answer is a balanced comparison, we need to also consider differences between cheek cells and plant cells. There are three differences to choose from, but we only need one more mark here, so we could say cheek cells have no cell wall, while plant cells do. Again, note that we have referred to both cell types in our answer, this time by adding a second half to the sentence and stating how plant cells are different to cheek cells. In summary, you need to know about five structures in animal cells. The cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, mitochondria, and ribosomes. Plant cells also contain these structures, and contain three additional structures, a cell wall, chloroplasts, and a permanent vacuole. Exam questions may ask you to identify cell structures on basic diagrams or in unknown cell types or microscope images. Don't forget to give both similarities and differences between structures when answering compare questions. Don't forget to check out all our other fantastic resources here at Save My Exams.